Alright, it's so my first match in Platinum this season. I don't know if anything has changed. Alright, we now have TikTok famous users in the game. That has changed. Uh, what do I want to do? Could go Bandit. Could go Echo. Echo's a little risky, though. We have one Roamer. We need a second Roamer. Huh, okay. I don't think there will be too many super good players on right now, because I know you guys don't know when I record, but I'm recording this right now while the Pro League is going on, so most of the good players are watching Pro League. I don't know if I should... I could try my run out. It works like... 40%? No, actually... Uh, actually, depends on what you classify as works. Whenever I do it, there's like a 25% chance that someone's there, and like maybe a 25% chance that I killed them. But sometimes, or most of the time, I run out, no one's there, and I just run back in. Very rarely do I die doing this run out. All depends on if they kill the camera or not, or if actually I might have a Valkyrie camera out there. early IDs so we know who we're going up against. We're pulling up to A balcony. That's Valkyrie with a shotgun. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. They got my cam on A balcony already. I hope he's shooting at the top window, not down here. I think that's yellow? Yeah, that's pushing up yellow. One's admin window. See, it works sometimes. Wanting on pink. Oh, I want to push all the way down yellow. A yellow? Hurt me. I didn't think he would just be so aggressive to push me. Oh, and even... Wow, he was ready. He aimed outside and everything. Well, I got my run out. That's all I needed. I'll watch the admin drone if you want. They're pushing admin side. One's in kitchen. Ash is pushing the shield. Droning. At the shield, the shield. Uh, Legion really should not have lost that fight. Valkyrie, if you push up Visa, you might be able to get Ash. Ash is on A site now with Thermite. Can't do anything. Right, this guy's gonna get cluster fucked in a second. I think if our lesion hadn't just gotten picked off, he might have been able to hold that. I'm kind of—I should have been watching Valkyrie. I'm confused as to what happened with her, because it looked like she had just kind of sat downstairs, and then was just contesting Monty with the shotgun. Which I'm not entirely sure how she would lose. You just keep your distance. You can't really do anything. I guess you could hip fire. I'm gonna go IQ in case if they run Valkyrie, since Valkyrie's 
probably one of the top picks for this map. That camera that I used to kill the guy. Easily why Valkyrie's so good. You can't even see them. Where am I spotting? Yeah. I'll try to go scan the tree, make sure that there's nothing up there. Well, if they have a Valkyrie, that is. I heard an echo. Which means I'll also be useful for that. Echo and Valkyrie are one of the main reasons why I've started running IQ more. You can easily kill yokais, because well, people just throw them down and don't really think about IQ. Because ever since IQ lost her grenades, her pick rate has just dropped down so far. So now she's not a common pick, people don't really think to counter her. And that's even something I do, I'm waiting for the day where I get fucked over because of it. Watch me still die anyways. That's a camera. He doesn't have his yokais anywhere down over here. Frost is lit, and Clash should be low. Echo sitting on ping. No frost mats for some reason. Where's his yokais? There's one. I don't think I can get the angle from here, but I'm gonna try. That goes in there too, I like think. Yeah. Connector. Right. He's 50 as well. Kind of confused as how we like crumbled there. We had a good push going. Hmm. The clash kind of held us back, but I don't think that's what really lost it for us. I think the Jaeger picked up three of us. So we're not going to have any entry denial, no bandits or mutes. I can put both my echoes here and then just sit back and watch. Because they're almost guaranteed going to get him. I don't really think there's going to be much we can do to stop them. Unless our roam game is super strong. Can we get a rotation hole here? Uh, I don't have the impacts. <clears throat> That's something I think Maestro well. can do it. With the... Yeah, uh, me the Oh, okay. Savior. 
Uh, as long as we have a road table somewhere, it's really not that bad. Although, I don't know if I'd say reinforcing that's the best call. That's the issue of being in random parties, like, whole well, issue, I guess, with solo smurf in general. Because when I'm with my friends, I can be like, actually, wait, 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 don't reinforce that. And then, like, I process, I think, I'm like, is this really worth it? Where do you need the rotation? We need one right here for small office. Because that's probably going to fuck us over, but it's also going to allow me to sit here safely, so... I don't know how worth it it would be. That's both Capitopolis. I can stop the plan if they push on. Ivana is backside. He shouldn't be able to get an angle on me. Unless he pushes all the way into Kitchen. Bana's all the way out. back. Just make sure she doesn't push him. We should be fine. Well, that's cool. Go back there. We just gotta play it patient. She can't kill us. Breaking the other wall. I'm not bringing up on the floor, which is nice. Pushing down yellow. Now they're opening it up a bit. Oh no. I thought she was going to go through the hole. I don't even know what's causing us to crumble so much, I think. We're just getting each picked off one by one. There's not much we can do. Comeback time? Maybe? Uh, two and three is not what you want to see at the top of the leaderboard. I could rush to try to throw them off, but I really don't think that's going to do as much as I think it will. I might as well. Uh, they had a Hibana do that. They're probably going to expect it. It's not worth it. I'd rather play it safe, assist the team, and push in, as opposed to play a risky move that might fuck us over. This wouldn't be the first reverse sweep I've ever had on Solo Smurf can actually happen quite a bit because usually what happens when you're down zero to three is that a team gets super cocky and then they're just like oh we don't really have to worry about anything like we're just better than them we'll just run around and do whatever start picking them off you start winning rounds slowly and then they lose their confidence because like what the fuck just happened like we went from being the best to now just getting shit on mental games are a huge part of siege There's one. Doc dead. That's a uh, mirrored. I'll try to push a yellow. Nice. You're dead. Alright, see? See? Mental games. Ben's still in the garage. Right next they to the They got mirror. a fucking clash again. I can disable our shield. Bandit. Clashed up. There's one on the third floor. Planting? Planted. I've not seen the double mirror strike in a long time. It's not that good. <laughs> what was that? What was that? <laughs> K 
Okay, so mental games. They're getting too cocky. We start, we picked off three of them in the first, like, 30 seconds. Actually, that might have been a minute, because I didn't kill Bandit until we were already inside. Um, I don't know if I, I'm not going to do the same run out. I'll maybe watch admin side, because that's where they mainly pushed in from the <laughs> lost a player. Who had nine... He had three kills, so that's not too bad. I wonder why he left. Hopefully it was just a quick disconnect and he'll be back next round. Because I do not want to reverse sweep just because they lost someone. That's like the most hollow victory. I'll put the other ones on the other site. Maybe I'll put one in admin so I can hold it so you can't flash me. Twitch down. Twitch drone dead. As long as I can hold admin and they can hold yellow and visa, they realistically, ugh, they realistically can't speak, have no way in, unless they just walk up spiral. He's top left. This will probably be the more boring job, because I don't think they're actually going to push here, but I'd rather hold this down, and the four of them can hold that side down. Wait, that was a silenced gun. That sounded very close. I should not have been able to hear Echo's gun from that far. I think there's one pushing a visa. Uh, one yellow, one bathroom window. Yeah, Visa. Right, Didn't expect someone to be window, there. there <laughs> I think I heard him sprint and then stop. I heard oh, that like okay. the... I don't know what to call it. Scratching, I guess? Both of them yellow. Yeah, both yellow. Last one yellow ran back. He's top. He's like 25 health. He has to run up here. He doesn't have time to run around. That was a good play by Echo, stopping him from breaching. I'm a little surprised he didn't hear the drone sitting next to him. When it's on the ground, it's constantly making that, like, whirring noise. Are they actually going to lose someone? Oh, I don't want to win this way. He might have left because maybe he got upset at his team that they managed to fail that round? I don't know. You don't really see too many rage quitters. Mm. 
I'm gonna try to go for the piano repel. They don't have a clash, so that means they'll swap clash out for like a roamer probably. But no, this person's a dedicated clash man. But that's really shitty for them. <laughs> Because Clash is good in a 4v5, or in a 5v5, because like it basically boils down to a 4v5. Someone should push the backside. I can try. They have a mirror. Clash broke all the windows and piano. Just be careful, man. Um, but yeah, Clash basically brings it down to a 4v5 in terms of guns, when you have a Clash on your team. But then when you're already in a 4v5, and then it brings it down to a 3v5, it's a little hard. I want to rush in, but I also don't want to just make it easy for them. Because if I rush in and die, then they actually yeah, have a chance to it. easily win. I don't win. know why they didn't reinforce the middle, though. It just freaks me out. They probably have Vigil on top floor roaming again. Nice. Okay. Taking this super cautiously. <laughs> Mirrors in kitchen, and then the other one's behind yellow. Couldn't land the headshot. We actually have a solid chance here now. I don't know whether it is the fact that their teammate left, because we started actually communicating in round four. I think uh, once we started communicating, we actually brought it together. Or it was their inflated confidence. Oh, I kill again. Nice. Maybe one of them knows. Their team doesn't really seem to care that much. They're like, ah, whatever, he left. So I don't feel as bad. Normally whenever someone leaves, the enemy team's just like, fuck this, dude, I don't want to play anymore. These guys are just like, yeah, we hated him anyways. Since it looks like we're now slated to win this, um, I will ask you guys to let me know in the comments, what do you think about matches like this? I think I've asked you guys before, and I always forget the answer. Pretty sure most of you don't care. But whenever like someone leaves after the halfway point and then we win... Do they have a clash again? Do you guys want to see that, or do you rather just me only upload 5v5s? I don't think so. They have someone by bottom of Visa stairs peeking. There it is. Oh, he was like lying down. What the fuck? I don't think my teammate knew about that spawn peak because he just exposed himself. Yeah, your stone visa. He's stuck down here. It's left side. I can try to push the other door if you guys hold him. Uh. Please don't tell me you He got it. Yeah, he made it out. He made it out. How did he make it out? We had two people watching that window. Okay, at least we got him. That's all that matters. Calling. I'm gonna get cams. I want him to start scanning again.
do kind of feel bad for them. My team started going full cancer. Yeah, Jackal, like Lion, Doku. I didn't actually yeah. realize. No one A or no one B. No one inside B. I'm just gonna run in and plant. Clash is super lit. Probably like one shot. Oh. Oh no! This uh, is gonna kill me. Vending machines. Vending machines. But you, if you guys can get the freezer, you can plant. Nice. He was definitely out inside. Let's work. I don't know if that'll actually kill him, but that is cool to see. It goes through there. Fuck yeah, we went full AIDS. I didn't realize that we had Doka B, Jackal, and Lion. Granted, they didn't. Save this key, actually, they probably got like two kills. Connector? He's gonna have to come through the doorway. Have the KD a little. All right, well, five in a row. As long as we don't start getting cocky, this will hopefully not be like double mind games because they got cocky they started losing now we've uh, <laughs> we're maybe getting cocky here i i don't know about that who is he playing before shots no actually i think he might have been my astro before but cav definitely would not have been my top pick I would normally say not to reinforce that, but seeing how Hibana pushed into blue and then got the very long angle, that's actually a good idea. Oh, he didn't even do both of them, nice. Basically, be on drone duty. Make sure they don't plant. I think they're doing a mainly garage push. That was glass. I heard someone else, probably a thermite. Sound like his gun. But they probably didn't bring a Thatcher since they're down a person. So they probably don't have much utility in terms of getting the wall open. Ashes. Uh-oh. The fees are down the yellow. Top, honey? Nope. I got Zofia. Okay, okay. One guy has piano still. I thought I saw his body. down on yellow. Backside, backside is class. Jack was above. I should still piano. That's Ash. You traded? Or no? Oh wait, no, no that's I got Ash. Ash. I got recruit. All right, last one. Last one's a uh, class. He was. Cafeteria. A drone? One sec. Yeah, he's in there. He's 75 health. I hit him a little bit. The diffuser's on yellow, so he's gonna have to run all the way around. Okay.
Nice. So we almost got overly confident and lost. But I, I honestly think that match mainly got chalked up to them just being too confident. Because that double mirror strat with like Clash just sitting on staircase was not a smart play. And they were also trying to spawn peek like crazy as soon as we were about to lose. <laughs> My team was ass and he went 2 and 6. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, he was the clash man. He was trying to keep it safe. The other team, or the rest of his team, was getting super aggressive. So I can kind of get where he's coming from, but still, that's a yikes.